I'm on two other shows that later on today and this evening. And what I've discovered um, is a very, from a real personal standpoint, um, is there are a lot of people out there, Val, um, that are really disenfranchised and fright, frustrated. And I'll tell you what, and I'll, I'll tell you right now and right this second, I've never run into so many people. And I mean, people and organizations that are completely frightened of their government. Uh, I have had phone conversations, uh, whether it's to voters or leaders or what have you. Uh, and there was a question of whether we we're concerned that their phones were being monitored, Val. Okay. I don't get phone calls like that normally, Val. We're used to, at least in my business world, straightforward business. But again, in the political world, in the political world, um, there are now elements happening and a fear happening. Honestly, I've never seen in my life. These people are simply afraid to put their their name in a database, a database because of what happened in the convoy and the GoFundMe accounts, the freezing of bank accounts. Um, there are people that I know are 8051 yes voters that are completely frightened and staying in the closet, Val. I'm telling you. Yeah. And that's just not the way it is in America. I'm not used to this. This was a this was an eye opener for me. And um, but the numbers, uh, I, you know, the numbers illustrated something to me um, that I knew. But I really didn't know. I didn't know the fear up there, Val. I mean, this from my heart. You know, I wouldn't say this if it wasn't from the heart. I uh, there's enough shenanigans going on in the United States, as you know. In the United States is I've joked is a grease fire unto itself, right? But every four years we can kick a loser president out of office, okay? And but you cannot up in Canada have that type type of decisive control and I think it's reflected to me right now in you Albertans and you know who you are listening right now you're afraid well, of your government right so there you go that was my first rant of the day Val here we go that was a behind the scenes sneak for those of you that uh, logged in yeah. early this morning and uh, you kind of got a sample of what the show is going to be all about today. This is the Alberta 51 podcast. I'm your host Val Olson and we are right on time. We're right on schedule. So for those of you that are joining us from bunkers down under from your home while you can <laughs> still access uh, news, it's a special day because it's been announced that in Canada that news streams will be shut down. So this is a very, very important broadcast. So to those of you taking the time, maybe you're listening from offices uh, in high places this morning, uh, internationally too. We know that there's a lot of attention and focus on Alberta. We welcome you. We are all friends here. Our our mission is to deliver the, deliver the truth as easy as that. There is no secret agenda. Um, if if you have questions, those questions are likely going to get answered today because it's all about spilling everything, right? It's the numbers are coming.